So welcome to this December 30th, one of our last meditations of 2020. And my focus today is going to be on awareness of the holy in us and just our own ability to find peace and sanctuary within us, even when things seem so chaotic around us. So before we get started, and these are readings you've heard, you've heard before, just about being kind to ourselves and knowing that our divine connection is always there. So before we start, let's just take a breath. And as we always do, just sit in your chair, if you can, straighten your spine, lining up all those energy centers with your feet on the floor, just resting gently on the floor and through the floor to the earth that powers us and sustains us and supports us. Just feel that energy flowing. As you take a deep breath in, all the way down to your belly and gently release. And as you sit and continue to breathe with your hands, just resting in your lap and your feet on the floor, just do a quick and gentle scan from the top of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet. And if you feel anywhere, any tension or tightness, just let your awareness momentarily rest on that spot, warming it releasing that stress, softening your muscles so that every part of your body, every muscle that you have is soft and warm and relaxed. Deep breath in, all the way down to your belly. Hold it for a second and then gently release. No judgment, just an attitude as you sit of openness and joy and friendliness with the awareness of simply being in this moment. Letting your awareness just focus on your breath because that just calms your mind. It removes all the busyness and all the stuff that is always just shooting around inside our busy minds. So just focus on the breath in and on the breath out. As I breathe in, I know I am breathing in. As I breathe out, I know I am breathing out. Focusing on the breath. As I breathe in, I know I am breathing in. As I breathe out, I know I am breathing out. Because it's not about just doing the act, it's about awareness of what we are doing. Anchors us in the present, anchors us in this beautiful present moment. And so as you continue to breathe, I invite you to listen to one of the love poems of Rumi called Lost in the Wilderness. He writes, oh lovers, where are you going? Who are you looking for? Your beloved is right here. She lives in your own neighborhood. Her face is veiled. She hides behind screens calling for you while you search and lose yourself in the wilderness and the desert, cease looking for flowers, their blooms of garden in your own home. While you look for trinkets, the treasure house awaits you in your own being. There is no need for suffering. God is here. And so as you continue to breathe deeply in and out, let your awareness rest in the treasure house that is your own being. There is no need for suffering. God is here.
when you're ready, just open your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. Move around in your chair and stretch and smile. And my second reading is one of my favorites. I love this one. It's from Hafiz. Um, this is what it's about. One who knows God. And this is how it reads. Once a young woman said to me, Hafiz, what is the sign of someone who knows God? I became very quiet and looked deep into her eyes and replied, my dear, they have dropped the knife that most so often use upon their tender selves and others. I just love that. The sign of someone who knows God is someone who has dropped the knife that we use on ourselves and others. So for those listening later, thank you so much for being here and we'll see you next time.